welcome to Naresh I Technologies. This is Ramchandar. In this video, I am going to be talk about the internal functionality of compiler. So, in which scenario? Abja here. In my last videos, uh, I did discuss about internal functionality of compiler meanwhile of assigning the value to variable with the variable may be uh, assigning the value may be directly or with the support of what uh, another variable. Especially in this video, I am going to be talk about uh, internal functionality of compiler meanwhile of assigning the value to variable with the support of method return type with the support of method return type. Let me write title first internal functionalities meanwhile of assigning the value to variable with the support of method return type. Now, observe for example, if I am writing like byte b equal to byte b equal to. So, what is the meaning here? Why we are going to be write equal operator? We are trying some assign to value b. How? With the support of method calling statement. With the support of method calling statement. Here what I am doing? I am calling the m1 method. So, whenever we calling the m1 method, definitely the method must and should be existed. That method must and should be comes under what? Non-wide method. The method must and should be non-wide method. So, what is the meaning of non-wide method? What is the meaning of non-wide method? A method which is going to be carry the information, which is going to be carry the information from one place to another place. Those type of methods we can call as technically non-wide method. Let me repeat again. A method which is going to be carry the information from one place to another place. So, what is the meaning of one place to another place? Called area to calling area. Called area to calling area. For example, if you are calling any method from the particular place, that place we can call as what? Calling place. Calling place. Now, observe guys. I am taking one method here. Well, let me change color itself. The method must and should be the method must and should be non-wide. Here non-wide method means a method which is carrying some information. What type of information sir? Maybe it can be carry the information related to byte, short, int, long, float, double, carry, care and boolean. So, whatever the information it may be, it must and should be carry. So, here my method name is what? M1. Here I am declaring one method like M1. So, here what type of um, uh, what type of information it is going to be written that is entirely depend upon variable type. Here what is the variable type here? Byte. So, my M1 method is also must and should be returns what here? Byte value. Now, if any method having the return statement that method must and should be having if any method having the return type that method must and should be under with the return statement with appropriate value. Here I am giving one value like what here? 1, 2, 3. So, here what I am doing? I am calling the M1 method. I am calling the M1 method. M1 method is going to be M1 method is going to be executed and after execution of the M1 method after end of the M1 method execution we are written one value. What is that value? 1, 2, 3. That 1, 2, 3 will be placed into where here? M1. So, this will be replaced with what here? 1, 2, 3 and finally, 1, 2, 3 will be placed into where here? B. Already we had this discussion in my previous videos, but our title is what? Internal functionality. What is the step by step procedure in this particular statement? So, the first step is, the first step is, first compiler check, compiler check destination destination variable type so what is the destination 
the place which we have left side of the equal operator or the place which we have or the variable which we have left side of the uh, equal operator that variable technically we can call as what destination variable. So, what is the destination variable here b and what type it is what type it is byte type. So, first compiler check destination variable type. So, here destination variable type is what here byte that is the mandatory compiler check. Now, second one the second point is observe compiler check compiler check the range of the the range of the destination the range of the destination variable type destination variable type. So, what is the range of the byte here very simple minus 2 power 8 minus 1 to 0 to plus 2 power of 8 minus 1 base minus 1. Simply we can say minus 128 to uh, 0 to and 127. How to calculate the range of a byte short into if you want to know about all those things please go through my previous videos. And the third one is the third point is compiler concentrate on what source value third one the compiler concentrate on what source value. So, after equal operator I do not have any value directly I have what method calling statement I have method calling statement. So, compiler concentrate on source value means compiler concentrate on what method calling statement. So, what is the meaning of method calling statement it is very simple here. First, compiler is check is M1 method is M1 method void or non void. First, compiler check is M1 method void or non void. If it is a void method, simply compiler will giving what here error messages, compile time error. Now, if M1 is void, simply what we are getting? compile time error. In the initialization area, we cannot call void methods. Definitely, we need to call what? Uh, Non-void methods. Now, if uh, M1 method is non-void, now M1 method is non-void, then compiler going to be check M1 method return type, M1 method return type and destination variable type destination variable type must be match or not must be equal or compatible equal or compatible what is compatible I will tell you in this video itself. So, fourth point is compiler going to check compiler going to check method return type as well as destination parameter type. So, here both are what here b type is byte here m1 method return type is what byte both are equal if the both are equal not a problem. Now, one more terminal that I am using compatibility what is the meaning of compatibility either same range of the data type or it is a lower range. So, what is the meaning of for example, byte assume I am taking as a float Maybe my M1 method return type is what? Maybe same type like float and it is a lower type. So, what are the lower types? Either long I can take, either int I can take, either byte I can take, either short, either care, so either yes long already I mentioned. So, these type of returns I can take uh, within the M1 method. So, that is the meaning of what? Compatible. So, for in the fourth step, M1 method uh, compiler checking M1 method return type um, destination variable type matched or not and as well as as well as compiler is going to be check compiler going to be check M1 method M1 method return type and return statement value and return statement value matched or not return statement value match matched or matched or compatible. So, if everything is fine then finally what happened 
this is 1, 2, 3 will be placed into where here? M1 method. If any one step is problem in all these four things, definitely compiler is going to be highlighting what here? Compile time errors. So, let me give a quick review on top of this point. So, whenever we assigning any value to variable with the support of method return statement, compiler will doing what here? This much of process. The first step is compiler going to check destination variable type. The second one is range and the third one is source value. But do we have exactly source value? No, we have what? Uh, method calling statement. So, automatically control goes to where here? Uh, method. So, whenever control goes to the method, compiler control goes to the method, first compiler is going to be check whether the method is wide or non-wide. If it is a wide, simple error. If it is a non-wide, again compiler doing one more thing. What is that one more thing? It is going to be check destination variable type as well as method return type matched or compatible. Matched means what here? Equal or compatible. Once equal and compatible, again it is going to be check method return type and return statement with value equal or compatible. So, if everything is fine, then 1, 2, 3 will be placed into area M1. After that, 1, 2, 3 will be assigned to what? B. If uh, in the fourth step, anything is going to be wrong, the entire uh, uh, that uh, statement is going to be what here? Invalid. This is the internal functionality of what? Compiler. Meanwhile, assigning the value to variable with the support of method return type. So, I hope you enjoyed this video guys. For more videos, please subscribe to Narayasati channel. Thank you.